today I'm going to take another quick look at my battery evenness tester thingamajig uh, which is based around an Arduino Nano, a Nokia 5110 screen and 8 ACS uh, 712 current sensing modules. And you may remember last time we got to the point where modules 1, 2, 7 seem to be acting as they should. Perhaps the numbers they were reading weren't quite right, uh, but module 0 was jumping around all over the place, as is the 5110 screen. Yeah, so that first module there, module 0, these readings go negative, positive, all over the place, and... Uh, I felt I might have damaged that module. Now it was Julian Eilert's comment that made me look again at my 8 ACS 712s. He said when he used the ACS 712 he increased the capacitance here on the sense pin um, by piggybacking another capacitor on top and that helped stabilize the results and I remember I actually used this before on a uh, solar charge controller a testing circuit and there's a tantalum capacitor there piggybacked over the capacitor on the module and that made me look again at the eight modules that I was using and although I had bought eight identical modules for this project I'd thrown them in my module box and when I dug them out for that last video I actually brought out two different models and this older original model has the silk screen mentioning the ACS 712 and this is the more modern module that I've bought which doesn't have that mention on the silk screen and I'm starting to wonder perhaps that the module manufacturers have increased that capacitor uh, to help stabilize results now measuring capacitors in circuit is notoriously difficult but if you look at the old module here on the left hand side this is the capacitor we're talking about, and I think it is noticeably physically smaller than the capacitor on the right-hand side, and that would go hand-in-hand hand that left-hand side capacitor perhaps has less capacitance than the one on the newer module on the right-hand side. So without further ado, I think we need to get this newer module connected to my battery bank and we'll see what that does to the results on the screen of the Arduino. So there we have eight identical modules all connected to eight identical batteries that make up my battery bank and uh, the rogue module there has been removed. So now with all the circuits off in the shed I can find the zero point of that new module which I'd suggest is 511, I'd suggest, for the uh, Arduino sketch. And I think you can make out now that I am hovering around the zero point here, uh, just 30 milliamps in the positive or negative, depending on what reading we're getting from the analog sensors. So I don't think that's too bad. I feel like these are pretty well calibrated now. So a quick overview of the sketch, which has become even more messy than it was before, I would suggest um, setting up all these different floats here. And uh, these are my zero readings after changing that module, uh, 511, 512, that sort of thing. So they're the zero reading point, which I've updated on the sketch on the Arduino, but not reprinted out this piece of paper. Um, in the setup, we just... Uh, initiate the LCD and then we're straight into the loop. And for each sensor I've taken this code pretty much directly from the Adafruit uh, webpage on the ACS712 where we uh, calculate the millivolts first and then convert that into a current reading in amps and then just simply print it to the screen and the link for this code will be in the description below. So for comparison, on my main positive here, I've put my clamp meter, which is showing about 1.95 amps being drawn from my batteries at the moment. I've also disconnected the solar to make sure there's nothing going in. And on average here, I'd suggest we're seeing 150, 160 milliamps. Well, what's that? That's about 1.2 amps, isn't it, off the top of my head? A little bit over... 
Um, so these aren't quite agreeing with the clamp meter here. The clamp meter is reading higher, which is a bit of a shame. But look, we are seeing everything pretty even, apart from this one here. That first module that's been causing me problems is still showing a lot higher. And module number six seems to be showing a bit lower as well. But perhaps module number seven is also Hmm, this really isn't working as well as I hoped. So with 1.9 amps coming out of my battery, well, these numbers don't entirely add up, and unfortunately, it is showing a slight unevenness. Now, is that a failure in my battery bank, or a failure in the Arduino code, or the modules? Well, I think further investigation is required. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.